Hello again, everyone. So today I'm going to answer another question in the comments. This one is pertaining to MPC3 and submix automation. So let's see. Glowtune 9303 asks, how do you erase recorded automation on submixes? Cool thing about this one is, is that um, Bill Pacat, Bill Pacat, forgive me if I butchered your handle, Bill Pacat <laughs> actually answered this question. He says, go to the grid and hit the trash receptacle icon. All right. So I figured I'd do my due diligence and demonstrate that so uh, at the moment what's happening is is that I have a sample loaded okay I don't think the tempo is correct but uh, let's see maybe it was at 132 okay close enough all right so I have one of my um, samples loaded and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my pad mixer and what I'm going to do here is what I've already done as a matter of fact is is as opposed to having this sample routed to a track I'm going to route it to submix number one all right so now that that's done I'm going to go back to my main menu here I'm going to scroll over to submix number one and I'm going to add an insert so again what's happening right now is as opposed uh, as opposed to the output of the sample as a, uh, the output of the sample is not being routed through the track now the output is running through a submix and just like I explained in the previous video you can route as many pads as you want into this single submix the submix is essentially a uh, bus what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply an insert to the bus I'll just use the filter the same as I did last time and um, let's see here now if I tap where it says filter now I have the capability of changing parameters so the cubing is going. right now now what we're going to do is we're going to hold shift press the um, step sequencer button so what you want, I already had the automation engaged, but what you want to do is you want to hit the uh, step sequencer button, and hit the step sequencer button, have it turned red. This is how you know automation is engaged. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hit over up, hit play start, and we'll just start changing some parameters here. try this okay now let's do the same thing with resonance over to play start here we go all right let's do it again and this time we'll <laughs> and this time around we'll use the, the third Q link encoder and change the filter type All right, so at this point, I've pretty much destroyed my sample. Um, I mean, unless, of course, you're into that kind of thing. But personally, it's it sounds like a bunch of bells and whistles at this point, right? A cacophony of bells and whistles. So we, um, so two, one to two points of automation can go. So the question now is, how do I get rid of them? Well, this is what we're going to do. Um, just to put things in perspective, we'll go back to the main menu and we'll hold now while um i while my focus is on submix number one i'm going to hold shift and i'm going to press grid all right so no audio or media events on global tracks which is true you know this is a submix it's it, it, it's it's basically a, a housing for all of our inserts and utilities etc cetera, etc cetera. anything that we want affecting our pad selection so, but, but that's not what we're interested in right now. We're interested in deleting the automation. So the way we go about doing that is over here in this lower right hand corner, there's a triangle icon that points up. So I'm going to tap that triangle icon and there's nothing there right now. But if you double tap where it says track volume, um, you'll have access to a group of parameters. Now the parameters that show up, are all the parameters that 
have automation assigned to them. So I remember the last one that I changed was the filter type, which is what ultimately caused that to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm either going to double click here or, or tap our um, encoder dial here. And so now you see where all of the automation is for this particular parameter. Now, the little trash bin that was referred to in the comments is right here. If I tap this, the automation disappears for that parameter and that parameter only. So now, we're back to something that's a little bit more intelligible. All right, now, with your focus set here, on the um, parameter drop down, you can just rotate your encoder dial and you can pretty much manipulate or delete uh, any of the automation that you see fit. Well, see, the, the thing is, not only can you delete it, but you can also, let's see here, you can also draw it in after you tap the uh, pencil icon. So let's see if I want to do this with the resonance. You know what? I left my stylus behind. There we go. All right. <laughs> Never leave home without it. All right. So this just makes it a little bit easier for me to draw in my automation. Personally, I agree with experimenting with this until you find the sound that you want. Or, if you don't want it at all, just delete it. Uh, but one thing to take into consideration is that whenever you erase your automation, make sure you go back to main, go back to your, uh, go back to the parameter, and if you want and see the thing is it's like after you automate things get stuck <laughs> um so let's dial that down let me hold shift here make sure my automation is turned off mm -hmm. go back to me let's see here go back to my grid focus there we are so only one remains, and that's the uh, cutoff. And there we are. So let's do a quick recap. Uh, so essentially, I just did a, a quick review on how to create automation on a submix. Um, but then also, I showed you how to delete and manipulate the um, automation data as you see fit and so guys there you have it I'm hoping that they answered the question and um, yeah we'll take it from there so you guys have fun with that and if you guys have any more questions in the comments please be sure to let me know and I'll be more than happy to address them alright guys I'll talk with you soon thanks